Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer. You know, I once fell in love with a girl who only knew four vowels. She didn't even know I existed. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Warhammer 40K introductory set from Warhammer. back in review in just a moment. I want to take a minute to ask you to check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about history, books on history, military history. I even post some of my uh, lectures for my classes on there. Please check that out. Please subscribe to that channel. And now, back to the review. In the Warhammer 40k introductory set from Warhammer, two players take on the roles of either the Space Marines or the Evil Tyranids as they vie for dominance in this science fiction adventure. Now this is, just as it says, this is an introductory game to a to the Warhammer universe. Essentially, you're using a lot of the basic rules from a standard Warhammer game here. I'm just going to go ahead and give you the basics and then tell you what I think of this set. Now this game essentially comes with a number of scenarios. You have the Tyranids, you have the Space Marine figures, and on their turns they can move, they can take range shots, if they're up close they take melee. And depending on kind of what their weapons package is, they can deal different damage. But typically, when you're taking a ranged attack, you go ahead and you look, you, you get the ruler, and you look at the distance from the attacker to its target. Now, you are activating each of your units one at a time. They can go ahead, they can fire, uh, and typically, uh, depending on kind of what the stats are for that particular unit, uh, whatever their role is may be a hit or a miss. Now, if they do get a hit, the character, the, the person that is hit, they can go ahead, they can make their own kind of save roll and see if, depending on what they roll, if they go ahead and somehow are able to dodge or deflect uh, that hit. Now, one of the things the characters can also do is charge. Now, how you charge is you can move up to, I believe, 12 inches on the ruler toward an enemy. But what you do is you roll 2d6 and then you add the total and that number is how far you can charge to get toward that enemy. Now, if that die result is enough to bring you within one inch of the enemy you're charging, it is successful. You can go ahead and do a, your, your special melee there with the charge. If your roll is not up to the uh, distance that would bring you within one inch of that enemy, then you cannot do the charge. Now, generally speaking, if you're within one inch of an enemy, you're, you're kind of locked in combat. You can't get away there. You've got to fight that enemy you're locked with. Now, you do have some different characters here. For instance, for the Space Marines, you just have the regular Marines, and you also have a Sergeant who's a little bit stronger, got a little bit more firepower. Now, for the Tyranids, you've got the Termangents, which are their, their, their basic, the basic enemy you see, but then you also have the other enemy, which is the Swarm, uh, and it, too, is a little bit stronger, just like the uh, Sergeant is stronger for the Marines. So players are going back and forth. They are activating their characters. They are moving. They are uh, shooting at range, they are charging, they are engaging in melee combat, all the while rolling dice to determine if they can score hits on their enemy or if they can uh, be saved from their enemy's hits on them. Now, whichever side is able to fulfill the specific conditions of the scenario wins! Warhammer 40k Introductory Set so this game, it, it, it's pretty light, but that's what it's supposed to be, right? This is, if, if you're one of these people that have, that it's, that's always seen Warhammer 40k and think it looks cool, you think, gee, I'd like to jump into that, but I don't know how, I don't want to spend an arm and a leg, uh, this is the solution. This is the way that you get the basic rules of the game, you get a basic number of Space Marines, Ultramarines in this case, and Tyranids. So this is kind of just what it says, an introductory set. Now what's cool about this introductory set is, in addition to the, uh, the, the, the figures that you get, you also get some sprue cutters, which you're going to need if you're going to collect Warhammer. And then you also get some paints. Now, I, I didn't have time to paint, and I'm not a painter, 
but um, it actually comes with paint. So you've got everything you need to start painting your models with this kit as well. Um, so that is really, really cool that, that you they really want you to jump into it with this set. Um, now the game itself, like I say, it's, it's, it's pretty standard. It's, it's pretty light. Um, and yet it's still engaging. It's, you've got, you know, your different Marines are going at the, the Tyranids. It does tend to, after a while, each scenario kind of bog down to just a few guys here and a few guys there and, and, and what's going on. But, um, still it's engaging. It's, it's quite engaging and it's fun for what it is. These scenarios don't take very long. Um, I, my only real complaint is some of the, uh, like, for instance, the data sheet, which tells you everything you need to know, it's in the rule book. You really need stuff outside of the rule book just to keep track of all those dice rolls and, 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 and you know, maybe a um, you know, player aid to tell you just kind of the sequence of events. You really needed another little card, or better yet, two cards, for you know, one for each player. Uh, but having it in the book is kind of weak, so I was not wild about that. It looked like they were kind of cutting corners there. That said, for what this game is, I think it's a fun game. It's an engaging game. It's not a game I'm going to get out and play a lot because I played, I played, you know, bigger Warhammer. Um, I don't own a lot, or that is to say, I haven't assembled a lot. I actually have a bunch uh, somewhere here that I haven't gotten out yet um, and really worked on. And I don't know I will because I'm not a painter. Um, so we'll see what happens. But this game, I think, like I say, if you're looking to get into it, I think this is a good place to start. Uh, if you're somebody who's f more familiar with it, played more of it, I don't know that you need this one. I'm going to give this a try it before you buy it. It's a positive try it before you buy it because, again, I say this really is a way to get people into the Warhammer game, and I think it does so pretty effectively. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. I'd ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. I'd also ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to please check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about military history and books on history and fun things like that. I'd ask you to go ahead and uh, subscribe to that channel. It would mean a lot to me. Please give a thumb to this video on Board Game Geek. If you are a big fan of the channel, I'd ask you to please consider clicking on the Super Thanks button here on the YouTube page and leave a contribution. That would mean a lot to us as well. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I got to be honest. I just get really upset whenever anyone says A E I O U. I guess I've got irritable vowel syndrome. Please somebody help me. On my feet again. And I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know where I've been. Please somebody help me. On the solid ground. It's a long time. Master, look across the table. Yeah. You're a